What's going on, y'all? So lit. Okay, okay. So we are here. Pose. This is season two, episode eight, Revelations. And baby, were there revelations? Um, excuse the pause in a minute at the beginning because I'm still trying to get myself together. Let me tell you something. Okay, because listen, listen. It was a few of y'all up in the comments that was like, I know they not finna make it seem like Pray Tell and um, Ricky finna get together, bitch. I'm in the comments like, nah, they just doing that for comedy uh, purposes or whatever. Bitch, y'all was right. Y'all was right. Y'all was right. Y'all was... Woo! What in the world? No. No. That's not what we wanted. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I... That kind of... That kind of messed me up a little bit. That did. Baby. So, the episode starts off with Pray Tell and Ricky. They getting close. He's telling him about the vitamins. Different type of vitamins that he needs to keep his body together since he has this disease. You know, the herbs, the teas, and all this stuff. And, you know, Ricky's feeling in his feelings or whatever because of the simple fact that he has not told anyone else what's going on and he's thinking oh my god i got this disease who's gonna love me who's gonna want to be with me now that i have this and pray tell like you don't even need to think about that right about now okay next thing you know they didn't order takeout they eating chinese food he telling him you need more greens in your um diet um Doing all this stuff, whatever, talking about TV shows and how this person got this role because Judy Garland was too drunk on the set and all this stuff or whatever, so she lost the role. You know, he asked him, how do you know so much about this? And, you know, just talking. He was like, y'all got MTV, we got the coaching and all this stuff, whatever. Baby, I'm fast forwarding a little bit. Listen, at the beginning, Ricky was about to go. Thank you for, um, you know, being there for me and, um, you know, teach me all this stuff. She was like, okay, cool. Pray tell. I was like, all right, that's cool enough. And I'm thinking everything finna be all to the done. Girl, Ricky said, can I crash here? Because, you know, Mama Electra, she over there with um, her boyfriends and stuff get weird when she, they come over and all this stuff. And so I'm like, mm-hmm. Okay, you know, at this point, I'm like, here go the setup. Here go the setup. Because at this, this is when Ricky was like, well, pray tell said, Ricky, okay, cool. Here go some sheets, here go a pillow, whatever. The couch is a little bit lumpy. It's not going to be that comfortable. Why he had to tell him that? Why he had to tell him that? That is the old time set up, okay? We know every time somebody say something like that, whether they had intentions for something to happen or not, something is going to happen. And the way Ricky was lingering and looking at him, I was just like, oh, no, don't do this to me. Not now. This is not what I was prepared for, okay? Listen, y'all like to throw shit at a motherfucking when we not ready. And I just wasn't ready, okay? I should have been. I should have been. But I just wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Ricky opened up. Pray tell was knocked out. Ricky came in there, opened up that door. I said, first of all, how he slide up in that door without it making any noise? Because when pray tell closed it, it made noise. But okay. It was like, you know, you was right. <laughs> pray tell said what are you doing here like you know what she was right that bit that the couch is lumpy i was like get your ass on the floor or some shit or whatever it's kind of smooth bitch she was like you know what for real for real what you doing here listen i think i um i'm falling for you or whatever i think i like you and then at this point um ricky took pray tell hand and put it down on his dink i, I said <laughs> Next thing you know, next thing you know, they kissing, they taking their shirts off, they doing all this stuff, they standing up, they on their knees, they bang, 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 ski, ski, ski. Let me do it on my back. Put it in my, let me do it on my stomach. Oh, suck me off. Do all this. And then when Ricky said, I think I want you to take me to, I said, you been a bottom for fucking pray till after you just bottom shamed last week? What? I know he was a verse. I said, so did you bottom for Damon? Oh my goodness. And then the way that they was just laying there, it was beautiful to me. 
It was beautiful to me. The way they was just laying there after that and he kissed him on the forehead. I was sitting here like, you know what? Shit like this happens. It happens. But goddamn Warner, bitch. I guess they said, bitch, you should have saw the last week episode and put two and two together. Girl, I thought y'all was playing. I thought y'all was just being jokes and trying to lighten up the episode. That's what I thought. You know, you know, um, congratulations to everybody that proved me wrong. Bitch, y'all got me. Y'all get me. Nah, 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 nah. Y'all get me. Boo, boo, boo. Girl, I'm sitting here the whole time like, I know. Pray tell going to meet up with the elders and all this stuff. The masters of ceremonies and shit. He got a little pep in his step. He's skipping and bopping all down the steps. I said, really? That little young boy put it on your ass. Okay, for real, for real. And then they trying to figure out what's going on. He all good and, oh, you know, approving stuff without even giving attitude and stuff like that they trying to figure out what's going on then he was like he got him some and then they found out that it was a young man and they was like go ahead go for it okay bitch who is it it's ricky i don't know uh -uh. why you doing it you ready to call uh -uh. not that what miss thing damon gonna think about that girl the shit was so hilarious to me i was sitting here like what is he gonna think about that pray tell you didn't think about that he was just like you know what i'm not in love i'm in lust and i'm happy right now and it is what it is okay it was like you know this whole thing about you being an elder you fucking around with these young boys and these young boys they probably just doing all this stuff because it's the fact that they ain't got no um they got daddy issues so they're looking for somebody to love them and then probably take care of them financially because they ain't got no money pray tell like fuck that shit i'm just you know and ricky a hoe that's what they already came to um, the conclusion that Ricky is a hoe or whatever. And so, it was just, he was just like, I'm happy right now. Just let me have that. They was like, all right, bitch. Angel and um Poppy, they doing their thing. You know, kind of found out that photographer dude, he didn't really do nothing to Angel. She on the little BB campaign and all that stuff. But what he was, he was being rough and a little bit rude to her on set, making her uncomfortable and all that stuff. But he didn't out her or anything like that. And I'm sitting here like, um, we got two more episodes left, okay? And I'm just sitting here like, so something got to happen with that. You know, I don't feel like that is just finishing. I feel like he going to come back and probably some shit going to happen in that season finale, okay? Poppy and um, Angel, they just really all lovey-dovey with each other. And he got this place that his friend, you know, rents out for $450. And he was like, you can have this place, um... And this can be a place just for you and all this stuff. Oh, my God, I can see the peers. That's where I used to um turn tricks. And he was like, that's why I used to, uh, that's why, um, <clears throat> give me 10 minutes. I'm sorry. That's where he used to sell drugs and all that stuff. And, you know, so he was like, Poppy is just everything to me, though, because he like, this can be your place. I don't even have to be here. I can stay at the um, Evangelista house and all this shit. I'm just like, oh, he just too good to be true. We need somebody in our life like a Poppy. But then again, he a little, he a little, he soft. He soft. He like, you can really run over him like Angel has his heart, okay? Angel can twist it and manipulate it and do whatever. Next thing, um, you know, after all of that, Damien, he has, um, he has Ricky over. And they in the kitchen, you know, trying to eat some little pizza rolls and all this stuff. And they happy listening to some Tony Tony. It feels good. Okay, they listen to some good stuff, okay? You know? I said, the music is what be getting me with these shows, especially Pose. Like, how much is the budget, baby? Y'all talking about Star and all that stuff because it was too expensive and all this stuff. What's the budget for Pose, bitch? Okay, that's what I want to know because they cleared up all these songs. We ain't getting samples. We ain't getting dubbed over. We getting the real songs, bitch. At the end of the episode, Love Takes Time, bitch, was playing by Mariah Carey, okay? Mm-hmm. That is my, because I don't want to be here long. That was Mariah, girl. That was Mariah. I'm sitting here like, oh. And then they had Rick James playing. Mind you, today was the anniversary of Rick James' death. He'd been gone for um 15 years. So, may that legend R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? But, um yes, it was just a lot. I was just sitting here like, okay, this music is jamming. They jamming in the kitchen. Y'all know we be up in the kitchen just going in and all that stuff. We be cooking and shit. Whatever. I know I ain't the only one. But, um, next thing you know, 
Damon, they, uh, Ricky trying to figure out where everybody at. Okay, everybody going doing their own thing. Angel and um, Poppy on a date. You know, um, Blanca over there at uh, the shop, the nail shop. You know, and so it's just him. He come over there trying to get up there with Ricky. Talk about something. I changed my mind. I'm not going to play around with you no more. Let's get this in. We can be together. I was like, excuse you. Excuse the fuck out of you, Damon. Slow your road. You don't want to go there. Child, sit your ass down and just listen. This is when um, Ricky decides to tell him, listen, I'm positive. I'm HIV positive. Chris called me crying. He thought he had the flu and come to find out he was sick. And he was like, wait a minute, Chris, the one that you said that you didn't fuck around with? Oh, okay, bitch. He was like, get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? You fucking liar. It was like, how come you didn't tell me? I was over there helping with Pray Tell. Pray Tell was helping me out and all this stuff. Pray Tell was helping you out. Why was he helping you out? Oh. 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 I said, damn. Damon picked up on it real quick. He ain't even have to tell him that we over there buffing butts and dig lanes. Okay, we ain't have to do that. You know, we ain't have to say nothing other such. He just said, uh-uh, get the hell up out. And I felt so bad for Damon, child. I felt bad for him. Now, Damon got a chip on his shoulder. He got to do graduation. He do his little performance arts dance um, for his graduation. And you got everybody there, Electra, Lulu, Damon, no, I mean, um, Electra, Lulu, Poppy, um, Angel, Blanca. And I was surprised that Electra was there. Let me just tell you, <laughs> from here on now, Electra was the best for me in this episode. We'll get there in a second. Um, Helena called Blanca to come back. She was like, you was just going to sneak out without saying hi to me, bye to me or whatever. And, 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 and was just giving Blanca so much praise and so much props about the way that she cares for her children and, you know, what makes her a real mother and how she is and, you know, thankful that she brought Damon into her life. And, you know, it was just such a heartwarming scene. I was sitting here about to cry like, oh my God, I want somebody to say some shit like that about me. You know, good things and stuff like that have that type of impact on somebody like that. It was beautiful. You know, she did invite her over for the little party that they was going to have for Damon. I said, uh, Helena kind of sensed. You can't tell me Helena didn't sense that something else was probably going to go down because Helena said, oh, maybe next time. And I was like, girl, yes, yeah, because you ain't want to see this because they acted a plum fool bitch okay damon up there and um they having a fucking party and at this point in time you know they was like what you gonna do now that dance is out at this point pray tell there everybody there and damon just has like this attitude and i said oh please don't take it out on everybody and his target at this moment was angel um you know, they just going back and forth all of a sudden, going in on what they do and how you going to do this. And because Damon said he's uh, going to take time out to, um, you know, be about himself. And Angel was like, hmm, that's what you are already doing and something like that. And that's what popped things out. And then ever since then, they was just going back and forth. Oh, you this, you that. And, um, oh, so what you going to do? Poppy was like, so since you done, what you going to do? Well, I got a degree in dancing, so therefore I'm going to dance. Oh, okay. It was like that short-lived career as a dancer and all this stuff. This is Angel. And then he was like, no, not as short as the shelf life as being a model. I said, ooh, Zinga. Me and Electra looking like, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. And so at this point, you know, um, <clears throat> they started talking about how, um, talking about all this stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was looking at it again. <laughs> They was just going back and forth, and then, you know, Damon tried to expose her about her drug use. She was like, uh-uh, you got the cocaine sweats and stuff like that. Lulu was like, I mean, yeah, she was, you know, you was looking a little something crazy or whatever. Like, you was on some stuff when we saw you coming out the bathroom. Now, early at this point, when stuff was starting to get heated before the cocaine shit came out, you know, um... Um, Blanca was like, okay, the party is over with. Thank you guys for coming. Everybody, let's go. And Lulu was about to get up and, um, Electra said, uh-uh, girl, sit down. It's getting good. Uh-uh, sit down, girl. It's getting good. That's me. Electra was me. I can admit that shit. I ain't finna get involved in it, but bitch, I would sit there and watch the shit, just judging and getting my life from it, because that's what Electra was doing, girl. 
Listen, when he put out there about the cocaine sweat, oh, she was doing this, she was doing that. And then um talking about how Ricky gay get he got um Ricky got um no, he had sex with Ricky without a condom and all this stuff, and you done fucked everybody. He said, Fuck you, Damon. Uh Angel was like, Fuck you, Damon. It was like, Well, everybody in New York then fucked you already. I'm probably the only one that didn't. I said, Wait a minute, y'all going in like y'all don't know each other. Pray tell looking like what the hell is going on? Then when the HIV revelation come out it was like how you know he got hiv wait a minute because he was like yeah because ad breaky ricky got hiv and all this shit and then pray tell was like why would you tell his status and all this stuff well how come well you should know pray tell since you don't want fucking him you fucking him at this moment because <laughs> pray, pray tell was like no, before the status thing came up, it was like, it's not your business to tell. It's not your business to tell. And at this moment, <laughs> Electra got up and was like, Woo, who raised these kids? That is right. Who raised these kids? I need me some Remy Martin. <laughs> She walked back there to get that drink. And then at this point, then uh Ricky was uh Damon was like, Well, how how you know? How come you didn't tell? Tell her how you know. How you know about Ricky's status? Let's tell her. Because you fucking him. And then when uh Electra was walking past, and as soon as Damon said, Because you fucking him, whoa, what? <laughs> Bitch, Electra was taking me down the whole fucking time. I said, girl, yes. Okay. And so at this point, Blanca wasn't believing uh, Damon about anything. She wasn't believing Damon about the, uh, I was about to call it Candy Angel situation, nor the Ricky, um, the Ricky situation with Pray Tell. But then Pray Tell went on ahead and admitted it. And then, you know, Blanca was pissed off, told him to leave. At the even a lecture said, you know that it's against the rules for mothers and fathers of the houses to, you know, mess around with the kids. He was like, first of all, I'm not his father. Okay. And so therefore I ain't doing nothing wrong. And he was like, but you are elder. And then they kicked him out or whatever. So everybody was up in their feelings and all that stuff. He was like, you laying down when you should be standing up. Girl, that shit was the best of this season so far. That whole scene, the reads and stuff like that. I had to replay that. Then for them to go to the ball right after that and act like nothing happened, or at least Pray Tell was acting like nothing happened, okay? Because he doing his whole, you know, being the um, commentator for the ball and all this stuff, doing that fine. And then Angel goes over there seeing Blanca, trying to see what's going on. She still wouldn't admit that she was doing the cocaine. They trying to figure out where um, Damon at. Damon pops up, and once again... He realized that she didn't admit it. He's pissed off. He go out there, win his category. Poppy won his category. And while he was in the ball, um, he get met with this lady from Malcolm McLaurin wanted um, him to work with him. So, you know, he got his little opportunity. And um, he just felt some type of way. And I would have felt some type of way, too. Because... It was a lot of double standards going on and hypocrisy, and Damon just really wasn't here for it. Blanca and Pray Tell get into it after the ball, you know, um, calling out each other. Why you sleeping with Ricky? I'm a 45-year-old man that find, and this, this other man, he's young, he's found me attractive, and I haven't felt that way. And, you know, Blanca getting in her feelings about the reason why she hasn't, um, you know, found love and all that stuff. And uh, uh, Pray Tell basically like, you the one that closed yourself off, okay? Just because you have this disease and we have this disease don't mean that you got to close yourself off. You the one doing this. Baby, they read each other to pieces, okay? And... Anyway, they read each other to pieces and they kind of broke up their little friendship. They in a little rut. And I just felt really bad to see them go through that. And, um... You know, pray tell he drunk. Ricky come in there taking care of him. And he like, you know, why you here? You a player. You ain't going to do nothing but be gone in the morning and all this stuff. But surprisingly, he had breakfast cooked for him and giving him, you know, headache pills and everything. And, and I was just like, what is this? Like, <laughs> my spirit is not ready to receive this. Okay, we still on this Ricky and Damon now we got to move over to Ricky and Pray Tell. Like, that's too close. That's too close. 
And then Blanca met, meets up with um, Angel. Angel finally comes clean and says that, yeah, she was doing drugs. I said, oh, my God. And you had to go ahead and, 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 and called it out. You, because Pratel Pre called it out on Blanca, too. Poppy get kicked out the house from doing drugs. You do this and you do that, but you, you you're okay on um Angel. You let a lot of stuff slide, and so um that's what Dana was talking about. And Angel had to tell her, I have to follow the rules, okay? And the rules say that I have to get out the house because that's what you put out there, and I can't. I'm no better. So therefore, I found a place. You know, Poppy didn't get me a place to stay, so it's gonna be all good. Blanca just don't want to lose lose her kids, okay? She's gone. She's grown so accustomed and so, you know, loving and this relationship so so tight and the bond is so tight between her kids. It's like she finally got somebody to truly love her and to receive the love that she has to give out and they give it back to her and she's not ready for them to leave the nest yet and then to have to push them out the nest, okay? And so... After that, she had to let Angel go because she broke the rules. You know, she can't play favorites and all that stuff. That's what Angel was basically telling her. And then she comes home and she see Damon getting his stuff ready. And he tells her about, you know, about to go on tour with Malcolm Laurent, Mac Laurent. And, you know, he was scared about it because it's happening in a week and it's going to be over there in Europe. And she was saying, that's what you need to do. Okay, she wasn't. That's one thing that I love about Blanca when it comes to Damon. She is so here for him. And for all her kids, following their dreams and pushing them, not holding them back. I do love the fact that she did have that little scene with um, Angel <laughs> Electra trying to, you know, calm her nerves and, and, and get to the, you know, yeah, calm her nerves about the fact that her kids are gone. And Electra said, there are so many other kids out there that for you to raise. And she was like, she don't, she, she, these ones are really special to her. And that's because this is her first children. First children, so many children go through these houses and stuff like that. And, you know, she, like Electra said, if your kids don't rebel and, you know, want to be pushed out and go and do what they're supposed to do, then you're raising parasites. You didn't do your job as a mother. Mother is supposed to be there to shape the world, okay? And that's what you're doing with your children. If they're out here succeeding and doing their job and, you know, taking care of their dreams and all that stuff, going after their dreams, I should say, you're doing your job. And that was a beautiful scene between Electra and Blanca. And I was like, damn, how tall is motherfucking Electra? I mean, I know she had some heels on, but she was tall as shit when um, Blanca went in for that hug, okay? And so at the end, seeing, um, you know, Damon and Angel and Poppy make up, you know, Poppy and helping Angel move out, we got um, Ricky still stand playing over there with Pray Tell. I said, this little boy playing house with Pray Tell. Okay, Pray Tell. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. You know, and then um, Blanca helping Damon, you know, pack for his trip. And, you know, just being by herself and breaking down, crying or whatever. And it, it was really, really sad at the end. It felt like... <laughs> It felt like that scene from Fresh Prince of Bel Air when the um season series finale happened and the whole house was, you know, cleared out and it was just Will standing in the middle of the floor. Or it felt like when, you know, Martin was looking at the um the apartment on the series season series finale of Martin and then he just turned the light out or whatever. That's what it felt like. It was sad. It was sad, but it was needed. It was it's called growth. You can't stay in the same position cuz then that means you're not progressing. And that's what they're doing. So Y'all tell me how y'all felt about this episode. It was better than last week. I will tell you that because, baby, I got some laughs off of this episode and I'm still befuddled, okay? Y'all tell me how y'all feel and I will see y'all later. Peace.